everyone, the player here, and welcome to my channel. And today, after a request, I'm going to make a video about Dendarian origin. But as I always say, please click the subscribe button, leave a like, and follow me on Twitter if you have free time to do this. After this being said, let's go straight to the video. Alright, basically, Dendarian is an amazing origin to play with because it is the most common origin with escape, fighting and exploring ability. Due to this fact, this origin is very good for beginners and veterans to play with, being extremely easy to learn how to play the game and master this origin. But enough introduction, let's understand the abilities of this origin. Endurance have the teleportation ability, and this ability is basically the same thing as using an ender pearl but you don't have any limits with this ability. However, you still have a cooldown to balance your powers. Also, when you teleport, you don't take fall damage. Well, not really. Actually, your ability cooldown doesn't apply to the item and the pearl, so you would be able to spam teleport. But, as I said before, you won't take damage from your and the pearls. But, if you get the item and you use it, you still take damage. Why this happens? Comment what do you think. Also, to use this ability you just need to press G in your keyboard. Basically, you are literally an Enderman, so you have a slender body as normal, and with a slender body you can reach blocks and entities further, so this ability can be used on fighting, on building, and mining. It's your passive ability that will help you the entire game, giving you an amazing advantage over the other origins. This is the main weaknesses of the Enderian because you are scared of pumpkins, so obviously you can eat pumpkin pie, and if someone wear a pumpkin on his head, he will disappear for every Enderian, being completely invisible. Also, if you wear a pumpkin on your head, you will become invisible too, but only for you and the other Enderians. I think this is the classic weaknesses of an Enderian, because as the other Enderman, you take damage from any source of water, but you don't take damage from snowballs. Also, you can even drink water, and if someone throw a water bottle at you, nothing will happen, which is kinda weird, right? Well, we are talking about Minecraft, so let's just ignore this. The Enderian roleplay is the best roleplay in my opinion, because your weaknesses won't be that game changing, so you will have the normal Minecraft roleplay. But you are good at building, mining and exploring, so you can choose which task you want to master. And as you probably know, you don't need to follow this tip, because it's just a suggestion and not an order. The Enderian Origin is the most complete origin in this mod, because you have an escape and fighting ability, so you can avoid most of the bad situations. However, if anyone wear a pumpkin on his head, you are probably dead. But you can avoid this by pressing F3 and B and see his hitbox. But this is quite unfair when you totally avoid your weakness in a fight, don't you think? Alright, then the dragon fight is really really easy, and you can win it very quickly. But as you probably know, if you throw an ender pearl at the ender crystal, it will explode. But with this origin, your own ender pearls won't explode, so you can make a safe teleport to the other towers. Alright, enough talk, enjoy this gameplay.
once again, and well, I came here at the end of the video just to apologize for the shot video, but actually the Enderian Origin is a simple origin with only two abilities and two drawbacks. However, I hope you enjoyed this video that I made. Thanks for watching the video till here and see you guys later.